GM food, fine. Fair enough, we protect you. If you don't want to consume, we are here to protect yes. you. But we don't want also for you to enjoy at the expense for the other person. If you want to consume, we want your rights to be upheld, your rights to be, I uh, mean, to be protected. You have, nobody should infringe your right. And if you, someone else that doesn't want to consume also, his or her rights are not supposed to be infringed. That's number one. This is where we are now. It, it looks as if we are anti, no. We have quite a number of consumers. Uh, uh, our organization has a membership of close to 200,000. So among those, when we throw a question, maybe we want to do a survey. There are those who want to consume. And there are those who don't want to consume. Of course, those who don't want are a bit higher than those who don't, yes. who want to who consume. Want to consume. Yes. So what does that leave us? We don't throw this one away that you want to consume, nani, I mean, GMO, so you don't mean, you mean nothing to us. No, 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 no. We have to balance. And what we're asking the government right now is that, first of all, hold. Let us sit back. Let us do proper regulations. Let us come up with proper regulations that are going to protect all the consumers in this country. And that way we'll move forward as a team. Uh, when you're implementing a project, like now, Dr. William Ruto is implementing the project of presidency uh, from 2022 to yes. 2027. Yes. This is a whole five-year term project. If you want to achieve what you want to achieve at the end of the project period, you ought to make everybody understand the purpose for which you are carrying out this project. And as a team leader, you sit down with all the departments and make sure they understand this is the scope of the project and these are our goals, this is the outcome and this is the output. So until you get there, you get everybody on board, it becomes very difficult to achieve what you want to achieve at the end of the project period. So we are telling Dr. William Ruto, as Team Kenya, this project that you want to cut out of presidency between 2022 and 2027, uh, I mean 27, you need all of us. And for all of us to be on, on board, it's good to listen to us. And it's also good for us to feel as if we are accepted, we are, um, uh, I mean, uh, we are listened to, but at the same time, you inform us in a manner that we can understand. So that uh, notion that when you know, you know it on behalf of everybody. <laughs> Sometimes back, <laughs> a section of Kenyans used to say, uh -huh. mm, uh, uh, a southern leader in this country, I mean, so mea katiba, kwa hivo I don't need to read I it. don't need to read it. <laughs> no, no, no. We want to understand what's happening in, the, in, in your mind. We see wakwamba chenye unajua ni mimi najua. No, no, no. Let us try as much as possible to carry everybody along. Now, going back to what you asked. Yes, the other day we were with the Parliamentary Committee, Departmental Committee of Agriculture, and uh, the whole issue was the issue of GMO that we were discussing, and we did our submissions. And all that we ask them to do, please go back as lawmakers. Make sure that any loophole you see in our biosafety, national biosafety regulatory authority has been sealed. And once that are sealed, because we pointed out, we gave our own submissions, once that has, has been sealed, then please come out and roll out the GM food. But before then, let us take precaution. Yes, pretty much. Here's, here's a scenario. 